Hi YouTube, my name's Jeff and I'm the Vegor Guy. Walking a dog in the dark is always a risky thing, especially if your dog's a dark colour like mine. An LED dog collar makes a lot of sense and I decided to make one out of a few bits I'd got lying around. Here you can see I've got an ordinary belt, a roll of LED lights, a connector for these lights, a 9 volt battery, a battery connector cable and a few rubber bands. This LED strip is wonderful stuff. It's completely waterproof and works on just 12 volts. Now I'm going to be using 9 volts but that doesn't matter. It's got an adhesive backing and you can cut it to any length. To start with, I needed to measure the length of the collar and Coco came in very handy for that. With that done, I used a bradle to poke a hole in the leather belt. This enabled me to cut the belt to size. I roughly measured how much strip I needed and cut off the excess. This is the LED connector and these just pop open with a fingernail. Now you'll notice on the inside that the polarity is obviously different from one side to the other. For this purpose it doesn't matter which one you choose as long as it marries up with the strip itself. You do need to get the polarity right there. Here I'm stripping away some of the sleeving from the battery connector to expose the wire inside. I tend to use just a blade. You might be better off using proper wire strippers. I've done the same thing on the LED connector. Now's the right time to slide on some heat shrink. I only need two sizes, a large and a small. Here I twist the black wires together and then the red wires. Now you could probably leave it at that, dab a little glue on it or something to keep the wires together, but I prefer to use a soldering iron. First up, clean the iron, tin it, and then place the iron under the wire. The heat rises, and this in turn melts the solder through the cable. The heat shrink is slid over the bare wires. Then the body of the soldering iron is used to shrink it in place. This will achieve a good sound connection. The only awkward thing about this LED strip is the thick jelly coat on top. You need to actually scrape some of this away to get to these electrical contacts. Now I tend to use a sharp blade again. Use whatever tool you feel is best. Now I'm slicing through this carefully. I don't want to go all the way through, but I do want to make sure I get through that rubbery coating. With that done, these copper contacts are exposed. The copper contacts need to slide underneath these metal lugs. Then we can close the connector back up. Now we can give it a quick test by plugging it into the battery. Make sure we get the polarity right. And there we go, success. The position of the battery is determined by the belt buckle. All we need is a couple of rubber bands to hold the battery in place. Using two make sure it's nice and secure. Now it's possible to check that the strip's the right length. And that's perfect. The strip has an adhesive backing, and the adhesive's pretty good really. But it's only as good as the surface it sticks to, so it's important to clean the belt thoroughly. Here I'm using just ordinary acetone. In truth it's the wife's nail varnish remover, but don't tell her. The adhesive backing tape is removed, and the strip is positioned onto the belt. Now it's important to actually bend the belt as you're doing this. I'm bending the belt to make sure that I maximise its surface area. If you straighten the belt when you try to put it on your dog, it's not going to work. Press it firmly to ensure a good contact. Now I tend to find these connectors never lie flat, so I'm going to use a spot of hot glue here. Dab it on and press it firmly for a minute or two. I've also known these connections to come loose, 
So I'm actually going to put some hot glue inside the connector box itself. This will keep it waterproof and prevent the strip from coming loose of the connector. Now this time I'm going to put the battery on top of the cable and the rubber band just wraps around as before. It's not lying perfectly flush, but it will hold nicely. With that done, we can give it a quick test. And there we go, nice and bright. So that's it guys, a finished LED dog collar. As always, if you've got any comments or questions, please drop me a line. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do, and remember to visit my YouTube channel. So that's it guys, thanks for watching.